Some nights, when I'm trying to get to sleep, I'm kept awake at the thought of a sound, a shrill sound, that haunts me so. SpongeBob's laugh. <laughs> it's horrifying, isn't it? For those of you who have been living under a rock for the past 20 years, you're either Patrick Starr or you don't know what SpongeBob is. SpongeBob SquarePants is an animated TV show created by Steven Hillenburg. I vividly remember coming home one day after school back in 1999, putting on Nickelodeon and having my brain filled with one of the most visually stimulating shows that I had ever watched. And I watched a lot of cartoons as a kid. A lot of people these days like the show for the memes, which is fine. But to me personally, SpongeBob represents so much more. You cannot deny that it is an incredibly unique show that's bright and kooky and colorful for the kids and also a little bit cheeky and hilarious for the adults. I very strongly feel that if we didn't have shows like SpongeBob back in the day, we probably wouldn't have had shows like Adventure Time today. I think one of the things that probably stood out to me the most was the character design. I mean, the protagonist was a talking sponge who lived in a pineapple with a snail. Now, I've got to admit, out of the 12 seasons that have aired, I think I've only watched the first five or six seasons. And I've not actually watched it for a really long time either. So I thought it would be the perfect candidate for... <laughs> So let's kick things off with our first request, which comes from Adrian, who asks for Mr. Krabs' daughter, who looks like an Allen key. Those are Adrian's words, by the way, not mine. Although from what I remember, she does have Allen key-esque qualities. So I think I want to start with the general shape of Pearl being somewhat cuboid. She's got a very long, long face. I cannot for the life of me remember what her nose looks like, so I'm gonna go for kind of like a snout. She is missing a vital ingredient. I think it's the hair. I'm pretty sure she had hair. <laughs> something doesn't feel right. I think she had like lipstick or something red on her face. <laughs> now I know that's not right, but I just, there was something and I don't know if that's better. It's probably not. Okay, let's start wrapping this up. I think she wore maybe like a tutu or something. Okay, that's, uh, that is definitely an attempt. Maybe I can get some points for the coloring. Okay, yeah, okay, so that's... <laughs> that is my attempt at Pearl, Mr. Krabs' daughter. Uh, let's have a look at how she actually looks like. Uh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't tremendously off. I'm realizing my biggest crime here is is the, is the lips. It's meant to be a little heart on the nose, and I've, I've gone around the mouth like Wiggles the Clown. Hey, everybody, it's me, Wiggles the Whale. <laughs> I'm gonna give that a solid two pineapples out of five. What are we drawing next? Earl has asked for the recipient of the first Krusty Krab pizza. Okay, so I know I asked for obscure characters on Twitter, but that is next level obscure. The Krusty Krab pizza is the pizza for you and me. Okay, all I really remember is that he was a fish man and he was very ungrateful because they didn't bring the drink. Oh, I love SpongeBob so much. Let's definitely begin with some kind of fish lips, as every fish man has fish lips. And that is just about all I remember. Do they wear clothes? Do they wear clothes in SpongeBob? I mean, I know the main characters do, but did like the civilians of the town wear clothes? Oh my God. I mean, let's put him in a shirt just to be civilized. I'm going off the general townsfolk of Bikini Bottom here. Because I don't remember this guy specifically. You know that bit where Squidward actually sticks up for SpongeBob in this episode? That was so heartwarming, even as a kid. I think it was at that moment I actually started to like Squidward. Oh man, I don't know. Not entirely sure what shade this fishman was, so we're going experimental. Crusty Crab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. Okay, there is my attempt at the first ever recipient of the Krusty Krab Pizza. Also possibly the last recipient of the Krusty Krab Pizza. I think they discontinued the pizza after that. What would I even search to find this character? Krusty Krab Pizza guy? Uh, <laughs> all I remembered was generic fish man. Didn't even really get that right, so. I'm gonna give this zero pineapples out of five. Let's move on. Bonnie asks for Mrs. Puff, SpongeBob's driving instructor. I am positive that I can handle Mrs. Puff. She's a puffer fish. How, how hard can that be? So again, she was very rotund, very round. She wore a hat, I think. I seem to recall her features being quite squashed together, kind of quite 
central. Ooh, this has fallen apart before my very eyes. Put me in jail. Just send me straight to jail. Maybe she had all these little cactusy, spiky spikes all over her. That's feeling good, actually. That's feeling quite nice. Oh boy. Oh mama. Um, well, there's my. There's my Mrs. Puff. Let us see how badly my memory has failed me. I am scared to look. Oh. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. It's just wrong everywhere, really. I I'm frankly just embarrassed to be sharing a screen with this image right now. But she's wearing blue, so <laughs> it's gotta count for something, right? Zero pineapples out of five. Heidi has requested Squillium Fancy Sun. Now, Squillium, I believe, is just Squidward with a monobrow, so in theory, I just need to remember how to draw Squidward. I do not remember how to draw Squidward. Well, let's start with the nose and the eyes and see where we get. And I guess he's meant to be a little bit dreamy. Did he have ears? Did Squidward have ears? <laughs> I'm gonna go with yes, maybe. A soft maybe, but a maybe nonetheless. Ooh, this is a little bit too human-like for my uh, liking. Let's just get rid of the ears. Yeah, that's feeling better already. Something is strictly wrong here, and I'm not sure what. Let's give it a little splash of color and see where that gets us. Okay, I actually don't think this is terrible. So let's have a look. <laughs> oh, oh no, he's hot. Actually kind of not awful. Probably the best one I've done so far. It's still really bad. <laughs> oh, I'm tempted to give my squillium four pineapples out of five. And that's being generous. What do you want from me? I tried. Snowdan says, draw the my leg guy. It doesn't get more obscure than the my leg guy. It's this very strange running joke in Spongebob. Whenever there's some kind of a calamity, there's always some dude off screen screaming. <laughs> but what does he look like is the question. I think he's just another generic fish man. So, my leg fish guy. Let's go. Let's do this. I actually want to draw him mid screaming my leg. So far, I don't hate it. Also, I don't think his mouth quite reflects the pain and agony that he will be in very soon. Wider mouth, much, much wider. Make him scream. Okay, let's color this bad boy in and then see how we did. I'm feeling purple, hell yeah. Look at that, that's a fish man if I ever did see one. I should not be remembering what a background character whose only line is my leg looks like. I feel like the coloring is way off, but I don't know, I feel kind of good about the drawing. Okay, reference picture and hey, that's that's not terrible. Can I quickly change him green now? I think considering how close I was, this is an acceptable change. I just want to do this fish man justice. That I think gets a solid five pineapples out of five. Very happy with the my leg guy. What's next? Ooh, Teaspoon has requested Doodle Bob. Now, Doodle Bob is like a crude drawing of SpongeBob, so I should be able to do that perfectly. And I guess he's holding the magical pencil that birthed him in the first place. My god, this is a weird show. I think the fact that I grew up on shows like this, I think it explains a lot, you know? I actually remember watching this when I was younger and being kind of afraid of Doodle Bob. He was kind of really menacing, right? Okay, Doodle Bob. I don't think it's terrible, but let's see how far off the mark we were. <laughs> oh, I forgot the clothes. Well, he's naked, Doodle Bob. I guess that's okay. I think Doodle Bob gets a firm three out of five pineapples from me. M has requested, and I I am quoting this verbatim. The one that said, I can't understand your accent. I think I know what you mean. It's the glove world. Is in glove world or something. He went to glove world and then he meets this strange man at the bus stop. I think there was like a glove head and I suppose his tongue would be sticking out as well if he's constantly doing that. Be honest with me, is it this? I feel like this character had like loads of eyes, like hundreds of eyes. All right, that's the best I got. Let's, what do I even search to find this character? SpongeBob, I can't understand your accent. Was it this? Okay, well it definitely didn't have lots of eyes. It has one eye. I can't understand your drawing. <laughs> I'm gonna give that two pineapples out of five because it wasn't terrible. It just wasn't great. Armina has asked for bubble bath. The original neck beard. Was this the dude? Is this something about pickles? There was something about pickles. He hid pickles under his tongue. I remember he kind of talked like this as well. I think that's not that that helps me with the drawing. Okay, where do we even start? The general shape of him maybe? And I remember he had pretty voluptuous lips. And I guess we have to draw the pickles on the tongue as well. Oh, that's right. He hides the pickles under his tongue, doesn't he? And he's like to SpongeBob, 
You forgot the pickles! And Spongebob goes through a crisis. Because Spongebob is actually an amazing chef. I would love to try a Krabby Patty. Was he kind of saggy around this department? I have to keep making him smaller to compensate for the canvas size. And I kind of want to say he was a little hairy as well. Was he hairy? This shouldn't be a question that we're asking ourselves. Ever. I actually think that's not terrible, but I think I'm going to colour it in and try and get a bit more uh, clarity in some places. Okay, that is my best shot at Bubble Bass from memory, but how did I do? <laughs> oh! Hey, that's actually, uh... Okay, Bubble Bass, I'm giving four pickles out of five. And with that said, the drawings are complete. And there we have it. I think this went slightly better than drawing Adventure Time characters from memory. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know exactly what went wrong with Mrs. Puff, but the my leg guy was pretty all right. <laughs> I had so much fun making this video today, so I hope you enjoyed it as well. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. You can check me out on Twitter and Instagram and all those rad places. And also please subscribe if you're new here. And whilst you're at it, let me know of any other drawing challenges or drawing things from memory that you would like me to do down in the comments below. And I think I'm actually gonna go watch some SpongeBob now. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha!